Hey Pisces, welcome to your August 2017 Terrascope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Oh, my candle went out. Um, real quick before I jump in, I wanted to let you, thank you all actually, first of all, for being so patient. I'm a little behind in getting um, all the videos uploaded. So for my mid-month August readings, I'm going to start with Pisces. It'll be the first one out of the gate to get your reading. I think that's fair, right? We have to mix it up a little bit every once in a while. Um, so at the bottom of the deck and your overall energy for August is the Four of Pentacles. And this is a definitely this is definitely a very positive card. It speaks to having a firm and solid foundation. It's success, it's payback time. You could be possibly moving, changing jobs, uh, having a career change. All right. This also can represent somebody in real estate, with real estate background. The only caution with the four of uh, earth uh, pentacles is not to hold on too tight. You know, because sometimes even with positive change, you know, we're working through the change and we, we still want to hold on <laughs> to the familiar, so to speak, you know. So the current situation is the world. So job well done. I mean, you're completing and an, uh, an ending a cycle of your life. Um, so you're, you're probably in a very good place right now. You know, job well done. Congratulations. That's usually what it kind of uh, represents, let's see, um, it's time to move on. It's time to move forward now and enter the next phase of your life or next, next journey, right? Crossing you, you have the Ace of Swords. And this is a brand new opportunity, so you're not wasting any time, Pisces. Oh, my candle went out again. I'm sorry. This is a new door opening for you. You're being guided by the divine. Could be tied to your money. It's about fate and destiny. Very nice. Way to kick it up, Pisces. I love it. All right, so what's going on here? At your foundation, you have... The Five of Swords. <clears throat> so, you know, maybe you uh, coming from a difficult situation, but you got through it, and it's over now because you have the world. The foundation brings us to where you are now. So congratulations. You've had some challenges. In your recent past, you have the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> so, you might expect, I mean, you might, uh, let's see, for the, sometime in the first week of August, get some really great unexpected news. This could be about a decision something comes to light, you're moving forward. So you're progressing nicely into the month of August, Pisces. Crowning you, you have the Unity card. This is about community, tradition, <clears throat> Working in groups. 
Um, yeah, so it's time to expand your friendships. Join a group. Enroll in school. Maybe it's a spiritual organization. Yeah, like-minded people. Mixing it up, keeping it fresh. I love it. Growing, expanding your life. In your immediate future, you have the Awakening card. So time for you to maybe get a new perspective. Maybe you're Renewing your plans. Could you maybe have a different approach to resolving a situation in your life? <clears throat> but this is just temporary. This is like the hangman. So it's just a temporary energy. Could be an effect of the eclipse as well. There's two eclipses in August. For your power in this situation, you have the King of Pentacles. Hello. Beautiful card. Here's the, um, yeah. <laughs> He's the, the ultimate, I mean, What's the word I'm looking for? I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Like, worldly success has it all. Makes ideas work. Amazing business person. This is about being financially stable. This also um, speaks to Manage, managing your time well, like the day-to-day -day stuff, is really critical. So you're in a good place, Pisces. This is your power in the situation. So you have all you need right now to maybe make this move or make this change. And you, you know it. You feel good. How others see you is the Ten of <clears throat> Cups. Now you have it all. This is the Ultimate Abundance card. You know, you have that emotional um, and material. All your needs are being met. Wow, you're in a really great place, Pisces. So in your hopes and fears, you have the lover's card. You know, and this could be about a decision. This is about relationships not necessarily love, per se. So what I'm picking up on is your answers will come from a loving place and that there is a decision you're going to have to make. Any other threes? I thought maybe... Your final outcome card is the Page of Wands. So this definitely represents a new journey. And you're, you're definitely trying to make that decision. 
maybe you want to move for a career and, and it's big right you know physically move house and home and change up your whole life um, but this is the free spirit similar to the fool it's all about new beginnings change on the verge of a discovery being really enthusiastic it also can represent somebody new coming in your life that you might know so this could be You know, maybe you're hoping for a past love to come back, or you want a new partnership. That's, that's very possible. Very possible. Maybe your partner um, has an opportunity, and you're working together in figuring out your next move. So by the end of August, you're going to have this news. <clears throat> Your awakening is about halfway through. And then you have the Page of Wands. Very, very exciting. I'm sorry. I'm like <clears throat> zoning out over here holding up the card. I apologize. I'm just getting messages. Let's pull some clarifiers for you. See if we can get a little bit more information. What's going on with the reading? So you have the Four of Pentacles. You need to keep that in mind. Yeah. Moving, changing jobs. What are the messages for Pisces for August 2017? Please clarify the reading. Pisces, August 2017. One more. Okay. Ah. The ultimate wish card. What do you want, Pisces? Congratulations. This is a very powerful reading when I think about it. Now you're past all those eclipses from last year. You're on, <laughs> on reprieve, so to speak, but you've done all the hard work. You're moving forward. I love this card. Love the oh sorry, the peacock feather on his. Can you see that? On his uh, chest there. Oh, actually, it's it's hanging from his hat. Peacock feather. The nine of cups. You oh, wow. I mean, that's the ultimate wish card. You're gonna get what you want, Pisces. Following that, you have the strength card. Else we got page of cups I love the page in this deck I think maybe for mid-month I'm gonna use these cards I love these cards oh, let's get one more oh six of wands so yeah you guys I'm gonna see your way through this Great reading, Pisces. Great reading. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the strength card reminds you to have faith in yourself. Page of Cups, you know, another, let's see, the other page you had was of Wands. So the Page of Cups, yes, another indication of a new beginning. 
be open to the unexpected. You could receive a lot of messages in your dreams about positive news. Could even be from a loved one. Maybe somebody you know might be giving birth or you know, find out, I don't know, your sister's pregnant or whatever. Could be a new relationship as well. It's the Dare to Dream card. I love the Page of Cups. So, um, this is just great. I love it. And here's your ultimate victory. Coming in on your white horse. Congratulations, Pisces. Great reading. Great reading. I'm sorry. A little tired. I don't mean to be hesitant. I'm just focusing kind of as I speak. I hope this um, reading made sense to you. Um, let me just kind of go over the eclipse information for you. It's definitely affecting the energies for August. So in between these two eclipses, there's a Mercury retrograde. I'm not going to speak to that, but if you have a favorite astrologer on YouTube, definitely check out what they have to say. Um, there's going to be a lot going on this month energetically. Um, so we definitely need to put our helmets on, so to speak. Uh, how Pisces is affected. Let's see, August 7th is the first eclipse for the month. It's a full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of Aquarius. And for you Pisces, that falls in your 12th house of endings. Well, here you go. Bringing an internal awareness to the surface as well. So maybe you've been struggling with trying to find some answers, you know, like who you are or, you know, there, sometimes I notice like there's stuff that bubbles up and you wonder why, why am I thinking about that? But when that happens, it's not too... Like an old memory, right? That means we still have to heal, you know, especially if it's a negative old emotion. So, and the 12th house rules the um, unconscious mind. So, very, very interesting. Uh, also, you could be closing the door on some really bad habits. So, if you're looking to really start, you know, a f new, I mean, the eclipse could actually take it out, boom, like that, you know, or maybe you drink a lot, or I don't know, maybe you shop a lot, <laughs> and you just like, okay, I want to purchase habit, I want to be healthier, you could do it, you could do it this month in August, so think about it, because August 7th is coming up here pretty quick. And then the second eclipse is a new moon, solar eclipse, on August 21st. And for you Pisces, that's in your sixth house of health. So here you go. You could eclipse out a bad habit and start new with a health regime. Fresh start in, in your well-being and your daily routines. So maybe you want to start working out might be a good time to start in August. You might find the willpower and not know, well, hey, why do I feel like working out? Hey, I want to start working out. Well, now you know why. <laughs> and it's interesting with Pisces, um, the healthier you are, the happier you are. It's just something about a Pisces. I don't know. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I can definitely relate to that myself. I'm sorry. 
I snoozed here, my camera snoozed. Okay, so I'm sorry I was a little hesitant. I'm tired. It's very late here on the West Coast, but I want to get these done for you. I hope you liked your reading. Um, please comment or reach out if you have any questions or would like a private reading. I'll see you in uh, mid-month, and you'll be n numero uno, first one on my list. So thanks for tuning in, and have a great month. Bye-bye.